Hey guys, today we're gonna unbox a memory card wallet. It hasn't been turned on yet. Uh, but I haven't either in a long time. So, greetings internet, Crazy Ken is back, and today I am back with something that has been about a year or two in the works. I've been researching and budgeting and saving like crazy to upgrade from a DSLR as my primary daily driver to an actual digital film cinema camera. And the first brand I will be trying out is Black Magic Design. It could suck, I don't know. So today we're gonna be unboxing the Black Magic Ursa Mini 4K, a 128 gigabyte compact flash memory card, a card reader, a wallet for the cards because, oh boy, shooting at not even the highest bitrate version of ProRes on this thing will fill this card up in 16 minutes and this card costs $260. So you bet your ass I'm gonna protect it with a $20 wallet. Oh, and yes, warranty. There is a square trade warranty for drops and spills as well on this thing because I, I am not taking any chances after the whole USPS fiasco. We will also be unboxing the Blackmagic V-mount battery plate. And I believe this is the battery for the battery plate by Watson. And this is the charger for the battery. All right, Watson, you're gonna sit over here. So let's get the uh, shrink wrap off. Oh, and by the way, thank you B&H Fulfillment for packaging this thing properly, unlike some other people that just pack stuff with airbags, which don't do jack shit. Okay, this is a rather glossy package. I'm not sure which way is up. It's this way, okay. Look at that, nice rounded corners there. I'm a huge fan of that shit. Oh, check it out. Ni nice packaging design, software manual. That's a tiny ass book. Oh, it's an SD card. This is cool. DaVinci Resolve 12.5 Studio, the full thing, not like the watered down version. This whole color correction software comes with the camera free. Protective styrofoam, again, way smarter than airbags. Nice and durable styrofoam. And, okay, hang on. This is kind of a big moment for me. I've never even touched a black magic camera before. So this is the first time documented right here on Crazy Ken's Tech Misadventures. Yow, it's hot, just kidding. <laughs> oh shit, okay, hang on. This feels really, oh gosh. Oh, that nice, like, what is it, a magnesium body? I honestly don't even know. It just feels, it feels professional. This is what professional feels like. Anyway. Oh gosh, this is, whoa, <laughs> oh shit, I'm sorry, I don't know what to say, this feels really, this is lighter than I thought, this is crazy lightweight, holy shit, like, it weighs like what, five pounds, that's nothing, oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna put this off to the side, and I'm gonna make sure it's really safe, it should be safe on the sofa, right, no one sits on those, alright, what else we got? Some kind of strap or something? I don't know, maybe for the hand. And a thing. I legitimately have no clue. I'll figure this all out later. And a... That looks smaller than 8th inch. I'm not sure what that actually is, but again, I'll figure it out. And in here, the power supply. So yes, it does come with a power supply. So again, you can, out of the box, plug this in and use it, but then you're tethered to a cord to have a battery connection. It's an upfront about a $650 to $700 expenditure, if that's the right word, just to get a battery to work with it because of the plate, the battery, and the charger. But again, that's how the professional world works. If you have batteries that already work with it, they're not gonna sell the battery with the camera. That'd be a waste of money. You just use what you got. And I believe it's compatible with V-mount and gold plate, but I just uh, use V-mount because what the hell. If any of this stuff doesn't make sense to you guys, it's okay, it really doesn't make sense to me either. I just do it professionally, make it look like I know what I'm doing, and get paid. You just gotta look like you know what you're doing. That's the same thing as knowing what you're doing. Word of advice, trust me. Okay, this feels incredible so far, and the screen, I, I always miss the latch the first time, is freaking huge, I think it's five inches, 1080p, capacitive touch, and um, it does swing around, if I do it right, nah, I'm gonna, not do it now. <laughs> buttons on the outside, there's also buttons on the inside for control. And uh, I cannot wait to take this thing for a spin. 
But first, let's get to all of the other goodies. So here is our AM95NCVM95NC <laughs> lithium ion battery with, oh, hey, oh yeah, it has a little LCD screen on there. Cool. All right, take it out of the body condom. So I just wanna reiterate like why this stuff is kind of expensive. These are huge batteries, guys. I mean, they're powering a pretty high-end system that's so high-end it needs a freaking fan to cool itself. Yes, the camera has a fan on it. <laughs> but yes, this is, um. oh, sh oh man. I don't even know what these specs mean. I'm so bad at this, but it it's big. That's all I know. And that's all I really need to know. It works. I, I mean, so far. It hasn't been turned on yet. Uh, but I haven't either in a long time. So, that's okay. All right, next. It's elementary, my dear Watson Pro. That is not the right side. <laughs> it's not so elementary. Uh, it's funny, I was just watching Sherlock examples in Hans Zimmer's Masterclass. Anyway, let's um, open that up. Silica gel. This sucker, this is the charger. See, again, you're probably not used to a charger being so ginormous, but when you have ginormous batteries, you need ginormous chargers. And this can actually charge two at once. So there we go, pretty swanky. We have a power cord for that. I forgot the US code for this type of connector, but it's pretty standard. And XLR for power. For what? I don't know, but I know it plugs in there probably. <laughs> I figure this shit out as I go. We need a way to mount the battery to the camera. We do that with a battery plate. Stupid shrink wrap. I better keep this stuff in order in case I have to return it. And there we go. Um, I'll take it out of here. This mounts on the back with this rubber gasket. I believe that's what it's called. Screw it in. And then you just plug it into the connection on the back. And do I really need to unbox this? You can see it already. Unboxing a memory card, probably not that exciting. Hey guys, today we're gonna unbox a memory card wallet. <laughs> No. no, we're gonna do something a lot less exciting. We're gonna unbox a freaking cinema camera, but that's, eh, it's whatever, it's not that exciting. It's only the world's lightest Super 35 digital film camera, so. So like, whoopee, right? <laughs> now nothing truly demonstrates my lack of competence on the show than watching me assemble something without causing grave bodily harm, or in some cases, nuclear war. So we're gonna put the battery plate on here now, because that's essential to taking this for a spin. We kind of need to turn it on. This should be a piece of cake. I see four screw holes basically on here, and I'm guessing they line up with four of the available screw holes on the back. Now there's extra screws. Hopefully these are just extra screws and I don't need all of them. And there's extra screw holes as well, but this also works with other types of plates. So we're just gonna first plug her in and then open up the butter packet. I've made that joke twice now on this show. Click, okay, that's in. And then the cord should go in there, the wires, and the rubber, this rubber like gasket thing is, um, that's gonna be fun to keep lined up. <laughs> it doesn't seem to wanna stay in place. Oh, it's all flimsy and floppy. Kind of reminds me of someone. Maybe we'll try getting a screw in there first and that will kind of hold it in place. All right, so let's just take one or 4,000 of these screws out at once. Oh, oh, okay, I see what it's doing. Fuck. <laughs> okay, uh, I wish this was a magnetized screwdriver right about now. Trust me, I am a professional, I can do this. This rubber gasket is gonna be the death of me. This thing does not stay still. Stay, good boy, St stay, stay. Just realized my arm was probably blocking your view like the whole freaking time. There we go, first try. And done. I actually got it in pretty fast, you just weren't watching. But trust me, I did it with incredible speed and precision. So, next is the battery itself. That is a super, super satisfying click sound. I felt like I was freaking loading a gun or something. I'm pressing the check button and nothing is showing up so I think we have no juice. Ah, this table is like shedding. Uh, well, it's an ironing board. This ironing board is shedding on my beautiful black magic. I'm probably gonna lay down a towel. <laughs> so yes, this table is nowhere near as badass as the other one. 
well, the other ironing board, but it doesn't shed. So that's a nice feature. Anywho, we have our XLR for our power. So I'm just gonna plug that in the rear here. I'm charging the battery right now because it did ship at 0%, so I'm just gonna use power in the camera. Oh, isn't that the best feeling in the world? Set that aside. That is a nice looking screen. And now, the moment I have all been waiting for. Power. Oh, 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 it's doing stuff. Wow, I, I just, Wait, does this not rotate out? Oh shit. Does this seriously not rotate the full way out? Oh crap, I thought it did. Well that makes solo shooting a little bit difficult. Okay, first little roadblock right there. So I may need to get one of their displays that you can actually mount on here, but now I feel like I should have bought them when they were like $200 off a while ago. And now I also feel bad because I won't be using the features on the screen nearly as much anymore. I feel like I spent money on this camera and now I'm not gonna be using those features as much as I thought. I'd have to use them on an external display instead. Like focus assist and all that. Dang, that, that kind of blows. That legitimately is a little disappointing. That changes stuff a lot, <laughs> actually. I'm legitimately a little caught off guard and disappointed. I know it sounds silly, but that was a big feature I was actually thinking it had. Because then when I do solo talking head shoots, I can just have the screen facing me and I can, you know, check my focus and everything. I mean, my Canon 60D, my EOS 60D even had a flip out screen. It didn't have like focus assist or any of that stuff, but it at least had a flip out screen. Yeah, I just, I realized even more, I have a TV I can plug a camera into. I have my Iris Pro display. None of them work with SDI though, I don't believe, so I would have to convert the signal. And also, I bet you a million bucks, that signal won't have any of the focus assist features on it. So, that's even more functionality I am now missing out on that I paid for. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cross that bridge when I get there. I have a external monitor that I just mentioned earlier that, you know, won't really work well with this, so hey, I'll be selling that if you're interested in having an external monitor for your camera, just let me know. Dude, check this out. So we got our RAW video, we have our ProRes. Let's see, do we got other options there? Because I know there's a four, oh yeah. I see what it's doing. So ProRes 444, ProRes 444 XQ is freaking crazy high bit rate. Capture for one frame. Oh, there's a time lapse mode built in. What the hell? Detail sharpening. Oh, there's just features all over this bitch. All right, let's go to monitor. Yep, camera, XLR, mics, blah, blah, blah. Now, there are knobs on here. I don't know if that like reflects inside here. Oh, it does. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. So here's the battery charging and the little LCD in action. Yeah, it's a nice little feature there. I don't remember buying the LCD model, but I think for some reason it was actually cheaper than the one with the LEDs. Huh, maybe I was just smoking something. I have no idea. But yeah, looks cool. Listen to that fan go. Okay, so all things considered, pretty freaking badass. Now, I'm going to be testing this and demoing it a lot more on this channel to see if I like it. So you'll be seeing this more. And if I do stick with it, well, a lot of our future productions are going to be shot with this then. So that also means, hey, we're going to be stepping up our game here and our resolution to 4k for a lot of things because again this is a 4k sensor a lot more to come with this thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the not too distant future